Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James and this is Transformation. Really excited today. We have with us the fabulous Eric Fox. You are a monster maven. You- uh, I make some stuff. You have your own studio in Riverside. Riverside, more Bex FX studio. And what is it, you do stuff for, for movies? What is it? Movies, music videos, TV shows. You were on, was it season four? Season four. Season four of The Face Off. And how far did you get along in the challenge? You know what, I made it actually to the very end of the show. You're a Southern boy. Yeah, born in Georgia. Pretty much lived in California most of my life, but still uh, try to stay away from the city as much as possible. <laughs> I kind of got into this by really not having a lot of friends growing up. Spending a lot of time watching monster movies and playing with clay and doing a lot of art. I don't like to do anything that's just normal. You know, if it's gonna be a wound, I'm not gonna show up with a paper cut. It's gonna be, <laughs> you know, stuff squirting and spraying and gaping open and all the fun stuff. So, so what are we gonna be doing today? Well, today uh, we are going to be doing a makeover. <laughs> just okay. like your, uh, uh, accustomed to, except for uh, I'm gonna bring my wild crazy over the top antics. I basically uh, wanted to do a monster, you know, but something cool, you know, something that's been way partied out, you know, a real <laughs> kind of party party monster. Real kind of Ren and Stimpy, like every time they would zoom in to like a close up, how everything was all With all the big hairs and, coming out. Yes, exactly. And the monkey eyes. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's sort of like a garbage pail. Garbage pail, Big Daddy Roth, just kind of you know, just something wild and wacky. I mean, you made all of these prosthetics yourself. You just got in the zone and you did it like, yeah. in a couple days? Yeah, yeah, it took us about two days. Uh, the, the thing is, is I actually slammed these sculpts out because I was so excited about it. I'm a huge fan of all this stuff. Drag makeup, just in general, is uh, such a great art form. It's also interesting, too, that you know Curtis Foreman right there. Curtis Foreman actually is our Morbex hair department. He's the guy that we send out on the field. He handles all of our hair. I can't do hair. Hey, it's Curtis. Yay! I prefer the over the top, wild, crazy. You are in the right place. Awesome. This is the cow. This is the back of the headpiece. So this so is the base that everything this starts is at. is the foundation. And it's just, it's a latex. You made this yourself? We sculpted it out. We grabbed one of the head casts that looked like it would fit, you know, about your I got size. a big head. I got a yep. huge melon. You, you actually got a pretty normal size head. Do I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to say right off the bat, I'm probably going to get claustrophobic and freak out about halfway through. Okay, just, cool. Just so we'll putting... work fast. Okay, there we we'll go. We'll work fast and uh, try to track down your sedations choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, <laughs> sir. Okay, not too bad. These are teeth plates yeah. that we had fabricated. You're going to glue that to my jaw? That's going to glue to your jaw. So what is this? This right here is thickened prosade. What is the thickener? What do you use? The thickener is cabosil. It's uh, basically a Thickener that we use for different latexes, gelatins, fake bloods. So that way, when you talk, uh -huh. the bottom teeth will move. We didn't really have the time to do a lot of advanced animatronics, so. Adva no, <laughs> I don't think we've ever had any animatronics on, so the most rudimentary <laughs> ones are a step above what we usually do. Exactly. You can't hear anything, can you? Can't hear you. Oh. You're putting it on both the. Yeah, because it works like a contact cement. Oh, okay. How you doing, Jay? Hi. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and fit the face. You made the eyes separately. Yeah, eyes separate, teeth are all separate. We actually uh, found some surfaces, uh, the right circumference that we needed. We made molds of them. Painted them up, glossed them, sculpted the teeth, casted them out of dental acrylic. Am some... I going to be able to see this? Come yes. Right I can't. Here. Oh, out from underneath the eyes. The okay. So yeah. I'm not totally going to be mummified. No, you will not be in, totally in case. No. no. You'll breathe. You'll breathe. Oh okay. my God, you guys. You're going to be fine. Okay, hold that. Oh, oh that's where I breathe from. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's got an overbite. All right, nice. so now we're going to start prosading this bad boy down. Start working our way. And then we'll just trim the flashes we go. I don't know, I'm a little panicky. Wait, hold on one second, hold on. 
Hold on, that, I'm, that was sort of a little panicky right there. It sort of freaked me out for a second with the blow dryer and everything. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do the breast and then and then do this final. Just because I totally, I just like all of a sudden, I was buried alive. <laughs> It's like she's been in a bar fight. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, nice. and that will just about cover it. So this is our trashy hoe fishnet dress. Yes. Okay, let's put this on. It's not glued down yet. <laughs> you guys oh. are getting dressed. It's not oh, okay, glued. Okay. Here, let's just get it done. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here. Transmission done. We have to be in the makeup chair like five hours yeah. and then on set all day in the suit. Like, doesn't that get like really frightening and, and like... No, no, not really. You, that last guy I, uh, 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 that I dealt with that was in a full werewolf uh, costume, he basically just uh, was out like smoking joints all day and just... Yeah, that's <laughs> what you do, right? He's doing okay, man. It's a lot of just sacrificing for the art. I think I was wearing a shirt like this when I met my wife. <laughs> in the 90s. Where I think we all were wearing this yeah, shirt in the I 90s. Know, I had a red one. Well, can you put the the hair on now? Can you uh, do that? Well, no, because the hair is going to overlap on that. Oh, uh, okay, okay. He's trying to avoid getting the face I know, on. I'm, just, I'm doing whatever I can. Well, shit, we can put my sneakers on, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I try to scroll big titties on everything I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that your signature? Kind of. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's an old man. If it's... Doesn't matter. Uh. Man. On Face Off, man, I sculpted so many titties and dicks on everything. <laughs> Every creation I did had a titty or a dick on it. I think this has been a first where uh, I've actually had a freak out. The anticipation of doing it again is very nerve wracking. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you ever do this? Do you, do you get into masks and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, so this yeah. is something that you do all the time. We're always in this stuff. And what's the emergency plan? Just don't freak out. I feel like I'm on like, this roller coaster and you're going up to the top. No, I made a mistake! Now I want you to go up to the camera and show them the inside of the mask, what it is that I'm seeing. This is what's inside my head, what, what, what I get. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Right on, James. Okay. You look fabulous. Yay. Blake, get them down here. <laughs> don't go freaking out. You got this. It's that hair dryer that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine, I'm fine. You can talk I'm just to gonna, it. I'm just closing my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> You've had your face covered maybe six minutes at this point. <laughs> sort of getting near the end. Because we can fix some things in post. Girl, now we're gonna do a little eyeliner, okay? Okay, make it quick. Okay. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents!